Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a basic scrolling animation. And this has a lot of application if you want some custom messaging going on in your scene that looks kind of cool. Okay, so to get started on this, I'm just in a basic island template blank. And I'm just on the content level folder. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a blueprint class. So the first thing that we need is a surface to project this onto. So I'm going to go into building prop because this gives us more options for manipulating it. And then I'm going to click here on static mesh and I'm going to go add and I'm going to add a plane here. Now you see it comes in flat and we want it actually rotated towards us. So if I click over here, I should be able to hit the space bar and rotate through all the tools. And you'll notice this one's red on the red here. That's what we want. So just click here on that box and I'll type in 90. Now, size is very misleading here. This is actually very, very small if we were to bring it into the scene. So let's go ahead and scale this up right now. So just on the X, we're going to type in 5. And then here on the Y, we're going to type in 5. And here on the back side, it doesn't really matter. We can leave that at 1. So this should be big enough, although it's hard to gauge how big it is without being in the scene. So I'm just going to go ahead and compile and save this just like that. I'm going to jump in here, get my new blueprint, and just drag it onto the scene. It looks like it's 16 by 9, but it's a square, so we're going to drag it up here. And then all we have to do is just for however long we want this to go, we just need to duplicate this panel. So I'm going to hold down Alt and click and drag. And basically we want this to, we, to be right next to this one, and we don't want to see really any gaps. So I'm just going to make this like three billboards long, like that. And then just make sure that, you know, there's no gaps in there between your surfaces. That looks pretty good. And now we have a surface to project our image onto. So this all works with materials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go to material here. And this is pretty simple to do. This is very, very basic. So the first thing I'm going to select this material node and drag it over here. And then here on blend mode with the new material node selected, I'm going to change it to mast. And there's only three nodes that we need for this. So the first one is if I right click, I can search for a panner node. And this is what's going to animate this. And this can animate it either going left to right, right to left, or up and down on the X and Y. And so I know we want this to go negative 0.2, which is kind of slow from left to right. Then if you hold down T as in Tom and left click, you'll bring in a texture node. And here you can just, we're just going to use one of the textures they have in here already. The only thing to know about the textures is that you can custom make these in a third party program like Photoshop. Just make sure that they're a square by a power of two. So it should be 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024, and so on and so forth. So I'm just looking for an image here that looks kind of cool. I don't know. Oh, here's one. Okay, so we got our image in here. All we need now is if you hold down three and click, this brings in a vector three node, which is essentially our color. The panner node is gonna click into here. And this, our color is just gonna click into base color here. And then here our alpha channel goes into the mask. And right away you'll see our image is animated over here. Now down here you'll see it's projecting on a sphere, but if you click here you can set it onto a plane. And that's what it's going to look like. Now if you just want to change the color of it, just double click on here and you can change it to whatever color you want. Let's say you want it to be red. So just let's just drag up the red. And now it's red. And then we just go apply and save. And that's it. There's a lot more you can do with things in here. I'm just showing you a very basic setup. Now with that done, what we can do is let's select our blueprint here. It's over here in the details panel. We want to select the plane. And down here where you see this, before we drag this on, we're going to create a, what's called a material instance. So we're going to right click this and go create material instance. And let's go ahead and save that. Let me double click into it and save it. I want to make sure it's saved. Then all you have to do is just drag this on here like that. And then we select the next one here. Select the plane. 
Drag that on like that. Go to the third one. Did that not go? Hold on. Plain. Sometimes you have to double drag it. I don't know why it doesn't stick sometimes. There we go. And then the last one here is plain. And double click and drag it. And there you go. So it's pretty cool, right? So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.